Could you please talk about Carlism and its defense of a sacral society? What accounts for I sure could. What accounts for its extraordinary longevity compared to other Catholic traditionalist movements? How could it be said they won the war but lost the peace in relation to the Spanish Civil War? Well, uh, firstly, Carlism was the, um, the ideology and the movement that went along with the loyalty to the older branch of the House of Bourbon Spain. You see, in 1837, Fernando VII of Spain, who, by the way, funded and founded the Church of Our Lady of the Angels in downtown Los Angeles. Ooh. Just thought I'd mention his real importance. Um, well, you know, everything has to come back to L.A. Of course. Right. The All big right. nowhere. The big nowhere. Shivering there under the hot, punishing sun. Offering joy and happiness to all. Paradise on Earth, yes. as we're told in L.A. Confidential. Yes. <laughs> the L.A. cops walk on water. <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> come to Los Angeles. <laughs> anyway, uh, the uh, he did do other things other than I found. But unfortunately, he had no sons. Now, according to the Spanish law at the time, the Salic law, the crown should have gone to his brother, Don Carlos. But he wanted his daughter to get it instead. Now, the Bourbons had the Salic law, but prior to them, the old Spanish monarchy had not, which is why we had Queen Isabella of Spain. You remember, she uh, hot her jewels back in 1492 and set up Christopher Columbus to be smacked around on Indigenous Morons Day. Whoa. What? Okay, you're going to get put on some list. Okay, sorry. Indigenous Heart Cutters Day. Anyway. What? No, they... Absolutely. They spearheaded... I mean, they basically pioneered open heart surgery. Am I right? They sure did. And they didn't even need a survival rate. <laughs> you know, surgery is a lot easier if you don't have to worry about killing the patient. That's true. It's no pressure. No pressure at all. Those high priests, I'll tell you what, a lot of the doctors of today would have envied them. It's like abortion. You know, you don't have to worry whether or not the primary patient lives. If you kill the secondary patient, of course, then you got a problem. But anyway, so what should happen? But that um, Isabella had been reigning queen in her own right. But when the uh, Bourbon came to control Spain, after the War of Spanish Succession, they had the Salic Law, and so it went down to Fernando VII. But he wants his daughter, not his brother. When he dies, his brother and his successors turn out to be the conservatives in Spain. The liberals backed the daughter. The conservatives backed the brother, Don Carlos, which is why they were called Carlos. Now, they had a um, uh, program which was summed up in the phrase, uh, patria Dios Fueros. Patria meant the traditional uh, institutions of the Kingdom of Spain. Dios meant God and the Church and their continuing dominant role in Spanish life. El Rey meant a traditional king, not a figurehead. And the Fueros were the local liberties of Spain. So, they fought the uh, they fought three wars against the uh, the government, uh, conveniently named the first Carlos War, the second Carlos War. Why were they so popular? Well, they were so popular for several reasons. One, most of the claimants that they went through were very appealing, romantic people. Uh, they were standing up for the real Spain against foreign imports, as it were, and that's always an attractive thing for the Spanish population. And they're, they're the, uh, uh, the Carlist heirs had shown a great deal of bravery on the battlefield in their three go-rounds. And there are a lot of reasons. Uh, and certainly Carlism was very, very closely tied to the uh, most conservative Catholicism in Spain. So that's why it lasted so long. Um, now, how did they uh, uh, 
win the war and lose the peace? Well, the answer is that when the Spanish Civil War broke out in 1931, the Carlists, with several other factions, uh, joined Franco's banners and helped him beat the communists, which is why Spain did not become a communist country. They, they won the war because without their help, in all likelihood, Franco could not have won. They lost the peace because literally nothing of their program was adopted by the victorious fellow. Uh, the, their reign of kings was not known after, but the Al Alfonsino line. Uh, the old fueros were not restored. The uh, in uh, Juan Carlos King, the place of the church in, in public life was in official life was kicked out, really, ch ch chiseled down. And the current king is barely Catholic at all. Um, you know, it's, 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 so they, they lost the peace.